Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Wargroove. Let's head on, or head on to the island of Volcano and Fun. Falder has joined the allies, and it's time for Mercia to face Sigrid. Yeah, he's our new best friend. Oh, hey, look, there's our sword. Wait a minute, wait a minute, did you catch that? So when she paused before this little animation, um, she had her sword in her hand. Huh. Huh. This is a false sword. Uh. Well, now it's the real sword, because the other sword that I saw for a split second apparently disappeared. Uh, Sigrid just left it here? <laughs> she had no further use for it. Once the door was opened, and how else is Mercy going to fight if she doesn't have her sword? <laughs> oh, hey, there's Sigrid. <laughs> Dang, pulling out the mortals card. <laughs> How about we throw the sword and impale you right now? He can he can summon an undead. She could teleport someone behind her to block the doorway. Uh, Caesar goes and rips her throat out. Uh, Toji cuts her up in pieces. He shoots some lightning bolts immediately before she retreats back into the volcano. All right, go. <laughs> All right, go. All right, go. Hmm. Yeah, she killed your father. Now go. Hmm. Now go. Hmm. Yeah. 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 All right. Plan kill, go. Yeah! <laughs> Everyone's on board with this plan. Yes, even Caesar. Let's do it. Kill yeah. him. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? But plan kill secret is it involves everybody. Dad. What? That makes no sense. Why would you not utilize allies in this situation? <laughs> Shut up, Boulder. Don't try and say this is an okay thing. Sure, yeah, let her avenge her father. My queen. But... What? <sighs> Why is she standing there letting the... Just kill her? Okay, okay, okay. New plan. Plan kill Mercy a secret. Stab her in the back. No, well, now it's the front. <laughs> oh, wow. That's being kind of overdramatic. I have not thrown up in over 900 years, but now maybe I will. Even though that part of my body no longer works. <laughs> It'd be pretty great if she just, like, has an animation of her sticking her, like, finger down her throat trying to get her to get herself to puke. <laughs> all right well i guess we're not going to utilize all the allies we have so this is fine <laughs> defeat the stronghold or kill a secret very well what are we going to be fighting for first do have a port? Hmm. Well, getting these would be pretty nice. Actually, what we really need to do is push up to here as fast as possible. I think that's what we need to do. We'll move you down here to capture that. But I think our main force is going to be marching up the center. How much money do we got? Six hundred. Hmm. You're gonna go up here and capture this with you. Cav goes up the middle. Flyers up the middle. Mercy up the middle. And we're gonna need to cover them. Best way to do that would probably be just to save up for a warship and sit it, you know, right around here to cover the middle. 
If we hold the middle, we can strike out to the north and south and be fine. How much money are we making? 500? So we need 900? So I can spend 200. On something. Let's just grab a... Let's grab a... yeah. Let's grab a yeah. And then we'll grab a swordsman up here. That, there's our 200. Alright. And then we start getting some more ships. We control the seas. That means we will control basically half the map. If we can do that. Alright. Now we buy our first warship. We're probably gonna... Invest a lot in warships, and then maybe ballistas, if possible. You'll go down here, you'll go down here. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. We'll send, uh, we'll send them up there as well. Alright, and then now we're making still 500, right, because we didn't <laughs> capture anything else. Um, so, oh, cap. Alright, in turn. I suppose we can also just buy harpoon ships. Temporarily, because they are cheaper. No secrets coming up, huh? Let's capture this one. I'm going in. Sell you up. Ooh. There we go. Oh no, I should have I should have flown you right there. Because I needed to move our alchemist in there. Whoops. I wanted to be a block. Oh, oh well, let's do it now. 500, let's go cat. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Hey, hey! That. Captain, yes, thank you. Hey, hey! Alright. Hmm, so now we're up to 900 income. So now we can afford another warship next turn. Or a harpoon ship. Because, like, I think I'd rather have a harpoon ship, right? Well, I think the ballista do more damage. But we'd also have to wheel it up and it can't move and shoot. So I do think a harpoon is better in this situation. And I could spend all of our money and still get a harpoon ship next turn if we want to. But what are we looking for? What are we looking for? We're looking for, um... Maybe a sea folk. Or a sea turtle. To try and stop their sea turtles. Okay, that's not fair. Wow, that hurt a lot! Holy crap! Holy... Crap! This merfolk did a ton of damage. Holy. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So the alchemist can move up to there. We're going to need to retreat, I think. At least with her. And then... Ah, 
I don't want our harpies just to get sniped by their alchemists, but I mean, obviously their harpies can probably snipe us too. Hmm. So we need to kill their calf. I want to kill them outright. We'll put our turtle up here to help block the cannon ship from the enemy turtle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is so very ominous. Just sitting there, doing absolutely nothing. And it will continue to do so, right? Alright, with 1,000, what are we looking for? What are we looking for? Harpoon ship or warship? We've got an alchemist that can one-shot both of these. So honestly, I think we're looking for another warship here. And we need to run blocker for Mercia. Because both of these harpies can attack her. I guess we just kind of have to go in here. There's too many threats. If we move here and capture, then they'd have to deal with this. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. And then we'll move you up and attack. So now, they can't reach the archer. They can reach the alchemist, but the alchemist could do a lot of return damage. They're probably going to try and take out the village, because if not, then we get more money. I think that's our best move. They can still threaten to hit Mercia, but... Oh, shoot. Both of them may be able to kill her, though. This may be a very quick match. See what they decide to attack. That's not good. That's not a good sign. Not a good sign, but these are weaker. Okay. Okay, we're still alive. They have a dragon. They have a dragon. She is a vampire. Okay. Well, let's go capture this. Because we know we're going to do that. This is a dangerous situation. If I move up on those archers, the dragon will most likely kill me. I think we gotta go for this instead of the heal. Damn that dragon. We move you up and crit the alchemist. We crit the harpy. Vampire, sorry. So with only a strength of two, they're not going to be able to kill Mercia, who still needs to retreat here. Alright. That's been averted. And now let's try and destroy their turtle. Beautiful. And then the merfolk. Beautiful. We don't need to be super aggressive with the cav. 
Ah, oh, shoot. I don't want them to kill my alchemist, though. And both can reach. I mean, I can hire another alchemist, but I, I don't want... Hmm. Alright, get a harpoon ship out. Grab another alchemist. Because we may be needing one. Both archers are 100% going to go for the alchemist to kill them. Unless I kill one of them. But then my cab dies, guaranteed, to the um, dragon. Unless we fight in the... I mean, this thing is still probably going to die. But you know what? Let's see what happens. At least it's not on a road, so the dragon won't crit, but it's still going to do an insane amount of damage. But if the alchemist comes out of this relatively unscathed, we can have it try and kill the dragon. So I think that's worthwhile. And 150 points left. We could grab another swordsman way out here. What I think I need is also a wagon. Yeah. We need a wagon. We'll still hire the swordsman. But we also need to get a wagon. Okay. We knew that was going to happen. Okay. We knew that was going to happen. Oh, shit. Right, the swordsman. Alright, the Agnes is dead. Okay. So that cab is dead 100%. We can start hitting the dragon and we will. The archers are there, but like we, we have to. You can only target ground. Hmm. Curse your range. Yeah, all right, let's do this. Another harpoon ship, because we need to make sure that our cannons are safe. Weaken this other archer. You're just gonna hang out there, aren't you? Let's see if we can get you to come over here where we are sitting in a forest. Let's reinforce our units. They do have a. Oh, god, yeah, I didn't even notice this. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. We need to threaten that and take the port. This damn dragon, though. Gotta be risky. Gotta make some moves. <laughs> sure, why not? It doesn't strike back. Go get it! Yeah. And that's everything, right? Yep. All right. I don't think we're doing too bad. This is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh -oh. Ooh, yes. Okay. This is tiresome. We have a better armor. 
It's pretty even. Okay. So we can't. Ooh. I think at this point, this is probably gonna die. So let's try and weaken the blister as much as possible. That guy probably comes down. That would crit us. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna give us a wagon. I'm not gonna go super expensive on the ground forces, because I think we need to really focus on winning the sea and the air. I just think that's so much more important. But I still need to spam something on ground. So just cheap swordsmen and a wagon to get them up there. Um, man, what am I doing with you? Hmm. I want to threaten this port, so I kind of want to move up here. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll do that. He's still at six. If you move Mercy up here... Ooh, they may go after the Alchemist, though, too. Let's do it. I don't think they're going to be able to kill her. Not with a six power. With a full power, it would be pretty scary. I mean, heck, it's still pretty scary. We could get a merfolk. What does a merfolk do for us, though? It gives us a javelin throw from water into the land, which is neat. It provides us a way to go through up here and cap that. Sure. All right, they did go for it. It's gonna hurt. Oh, actually, that, that didn't really even hurt. Billy Bob, no! It's not the turn of Billy Bob! It's three days to retirement. Wow, they just took that like a champ. <laughs> Giant bolt to the face. No reaction. It's pretty hardcore. Try and hold the line for as long as you can, friends. <laughs> Alright, well, we have this ship that shoots down air, so... Let's do that. We're gonna move this one under the bridge. You ended up not dying. I'm gonna leave you up here. You're technically on land? That looks like a sea tile. Interesting. All right, well, we're reinforced then. Advance. Merfolk advance. Let's capture. Yeah. I'm going in. There 
go. Hmm. Another warship? Another warship. There we go. Now for the top. Was that, a, that was probably a crit, wasn't it? So, like, even in the forest, you got me in there? This shouldn't be too much? No. They're really good against the ballista ship, or harpoon ships, not the warships. Alright, we will take this. 100%. Now, if trebuchets and ballista could move an attack in the same turn, then I think there is a debate that ground forces are still more important. But since the war, like in a map like this, since the warships and the harpoon ships can move and fire, they're just the superior, superior force, like 100%. 100%. Hmm. Hmm. Revenge for Billy Bob! Yes! And now, we're gonna go back. Now pushing up. Brace yourself. No fear. And now I die. Captain Bergen! Beautiful. We're gonna move the archer here just so that there's less of a chance of surrounding on Mercia. Although I don't think there's anything that can. No, because the pikeman can't reach, Sigrid can't reach. Yeah, she's not in any real danger right there. Now we will move this up. No need to heal. Murpho keeps murring up here. Um. No. Okay, then up here. This is gonna hurt. Needs to be done. 857 left. Let us grab a witch. Because they're going to get another dra Oh. They got another dragon. I was about to say, like, they're going to get another one. And we're going to have to eventually fight them over here out of range of our harpoon ships. <laughs> With the help of our navy, our pikeman is going to live this turn. They may have still lived. But this definitely helps. It's so close. An age of blood and darkness. So edgy. So wrong. I'm not going to usher anything in. Lightning blast! One sea turtle has done work. I think the yeah, we need to finish this. I was gonna start sieging the ground villages, but no, prevent them from summoning anymore. There we go. 
weaken you. Now, this dragon is of some concern. Definitely of some concern. We could kill the cat, but we're not. I don't know if we really need another merfolk. Let's grab another wagon. And then this. That's a very scary Durgan. Yeah, it's too risky. I don't want I don't want to lose this just because we got hit by a dragon. So we are not. So the dragon is probably going to go kill the archer, maybe the alchemist, I'm not entirely sure, but better than killing our leader and losing the game. Hey, hey, hey. That was actually a bad move because now, oh, actually, no, we're, we're fine. We just won't attack with you. I was going to say I needed to move the pikemen here for their limited movement, but we can't attack from here. So I did still do that out of order, because I should have attacked with the pikemen where the swordsman is, and the swordsman should have moved over here that we could have capped this this turn. Whoops. Whoops. But yeah, we got this. We pushed hard in the center, we secured the sea. Oh, they went for the ocean. Well, alright, yeah, that, yeah that's, that's fine. Okay. Only cost me 900 gold, it's fine. I'm not upset about it. This isn't gonna work. You're gonna kill yourself. What are you doing? What in the what are you doing? So now you are severely weakened. We grab another warship, because we're kind of getting past the point where they're going to be super effective. Like, we don't even need this sea turtle anymore. I don't know, just way right there, I guess. I'll move you up, move you up. Very good. Honestly, this cat's probably gonna just kill itself, but that's fine. We'll speed it along. <laughs> transport this swordsman to the south then we move this one back um, maybe a Pikmin a ranger maybe a ranger yeah because now we need to have ground forces and air forces let's grab another witch because as we get more money we can utilize all the witch uh, hexes and do a ton of damage 
especially if you stack them up like this. So they will dominate the skies and contribute to the ground with, you know, money, but... So now we attack the pups with pikes from the forest. Basically ending them. Sorry, pups. Capture again. This may be sacrificing the swordsman because these may be able to attack. Yeah, they will be able to. Ooh. You can shell from there? Beautiful. I'm gonna get the cannon or the warship that is full health though. Oh well crap. Okay, that works. Now we got the ports. Yar. A fresh ballista, huh? Hold there, please. We need to take out that ballista. So... Move. Move. We're going to pop the healing aura. None shall fall while I still stand! Get the swords up. And then they will attack the Blista at almost full strength. Okay. Oops. Fourteen hundred. That is quite a lot of money. I like it. Enter. Oh no, my sword's been... How much will this do? Mm, okay, that's still a decent amount. It's unfortunate. But it'll be fine. Bob Billy! going to continue to reinforce from that one because they're going to be assaulting this. Let's stack the FedEx. Morgan! Beautiful. Now we have Merfolk support. Was that a range of the Falconist? <laughs> no. One, two, three, four. No. Yeah. What are you talking about? I am dominating you. This is not the time for you to be like, ha, 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 you think you're winning. Like, no, we, we are. I'm dropping swordsmen on your front door. Dragons are coming. I have so much money, I'm going to hex two units.
We could grab a golem. Or we can just grab another dragon. And you two are just going to sit put. Sand put. Whatever works. And... What to do? Sure. Ah, that may be, be uh, too aggressive. I don't want to take any damage here, I'll tell you. I don't think Secret's gonna move up. But I wanna put them in here so they can crit anybody who attacks them. We're gonna move you up here. We're going to have you fall back. Swordsman will crit because they're next to their commander. Can we get on? Oh, I can't get you on the, um, yeah, oh well. And I think we're going to be a little crazy. We'll move up our archer here so we can weaken their alchemist. We're going nuts. Yeah, I think we just hold there in range of our cannon ships. For right now. 78 gold. We've got this. Sure, why not? Hey, hey. All right. Oh, this won't do much. So they are going for the village. Beautiful. Now we kill them with the cannon ship. We press on. They don't have any other flyers, but hey, look, this is a pretty good spot, I think, to... Ooh, they do have this. Alright, new plan. Finish off that barracks. But it's still okay. We can just move right here and then just... Uh, actually, maybe... Um, there. Yep, that works. Woo! Ooh, triple kill! Holy hello, sunny boy. I don't know what's happening. Let's do it again. Whew. When you have that much money, you just do that over and over again. Let's take over this village. Archer support. Oh, that wasn't enough. All right, move. All right, so we won't be able to capture that this turn. We don't really need anybody else, but yeah, you know why not. Puppy may end up killing the swordsman, but that's okay. Hmm, let's finish off the alchemist. I take out this barracks, so I have to take a hit here. Five hundred left. We could recruit something out of here. We could recruit a balloon. 
We could do that. Nah, we don't need one. Never mind. I don't need a balloon. Let's just screw another alchemist. Alright, enter. So the news closing. Wait a minute. Right! I forgot she could do that with air. Oh, right. She's one of the people that are... Wait, did I know that? I knew that. Did I know that? Maybe I knew that. Well, in any case, I'm reminded now. She could do my first touch on air. Shoot. How <laughs> dare you? It does take strength to be kind. Let him. Let her know. Throw them javelins. Um, Hex. And then... 9% damage. We definitely have her next round. Cause we got all of our dragons up here. Yeah, hey! oh my goodness, I can't kill it. You we're gonna do? We're gonna wait because by waiting. This unit can't move anywhere, so they can't recruit anything. Oh! The advanced strats! Brace yourself! <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, that tickled. Hey, hey! Alright. 1100 left. I guess because they were standing still, so they crit. I didn't think they would be able to kill with just one strength. Oh well. For my father. This ends now. <laughs> so be it. We did it. <gasps> we were there the whole time. Also, the sword is embedded in her chest. Holy crap. Dang! Wait. Is that what happens to vampires when they die? Do they turn to bats? Oh. No. Was that... I mean, did you, did you think it was going to? Merciful. Wait a minute. His name is Merciful? And your name is Mercia? <laughs> so, will her son or daughter be called Mercy? Just M E R C I? And then their son or daughter would just be called Merc? Mer? Me? And then just M? Is that, is that what we're doing here? 
I am so proud of you. Do they then start going back up um, after they're at M? So Queen or King M will then have a daughter or son called me, and then, you know, until they work their way back up to Merciful? That'd be kind of an interesting dynasty lineage. Hey! But then, you know, you come to find out, like, 30 generations down, their name was actually, like, Mercifalia C. Tarot Don Folkor the Third, you know? Like, it was actually something. Anyway, I'm getting. I'm going too far. Yeah! This. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? It's right there. It's still at the door. There you go, Koji. Let's just throw all of our problems into the sea. That can't do anything bad <sighs> to the climate, oceans, fish, and stuff. What? <laughs> That's the sound of a defeatist, Valder. We do this for Billy Bob and Bob Billy. And just Bob, who died like eight episodes back. Hmm? Of course you won't. <laughs> I guess Walter's on board. Victory! I will take the A. Alright. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode, everybody. So thank you for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye! Also, there's, there's a little snowman right here. Bye!